That's just past 7 million confirmed coronavirus cases. Cases are rising in at least 32 states. Washington, D.C. and Puerto Rico, that's according to an ABC News analysis. The third highest state for case totals is Florida, where the governor announced today all restaurants and bars can open at full capacity immediately. The governor's order also gets rid of bans for not wearing masks in public. The Westport Ale House is back open tonight after a coronavirus outbreak shut it down. Seven employees had tested positive since August, and last week the city pulled its food permit following complaints of crowds and people not wearing masks. On the bar's website, management says that they hired a hospital-grade deep cleaning crew and all staff members tested negative for COVID-19. And at Mizzou, five students are suspended and 14 are on probation for breaking COVID-19 safety rules. The violations are tied to large gatherings. They say these cases are outliers and most students are doing a good job at following the school's regulations. As of today, there are 95 active cases at Mizzou. The university has an online COVID-19 dashboard where its data is updated weekly. With everything going on with the pandemic, a lot of people are seeking help with their mental health. New tonight, KMBC 9's Brian Johnson explains the tools that you need to overcome the challenges that we're all facing. With so many added stresses from COVID-19, job pressures, family and financial challenges, kids at home 24-7, many are grieving, some don't even realize it. Our world as a whole is experiencing a collective loss. And so we're all going through a grief. Monty Miller is a psychotherapist at St. Luke's Health System. So many of us just want life to get back to the way it was. And the truth is it will never be the way it was. He says people need to find meaning. It's the new sixth stage of the grief process. Our kids are missing the loss from going to school, being with friends, being involved in sports and activities. Their loss is just as important as our adult loss. And we need to recognize that. He says we have to name it to feel it and feel it to heal it. Simply because I accept something doesn't mean I approve of it. Extra stress occurs when we try to change things that we can't change. We get just too self-focused uh, and I know when I take my focus off myself and look out for other people, I feel better. He says helping others can often be key to meaning and feeling good inside. Brian Johnson, KMBC 9 News. Tough times we're in, no doubt. Experts say to eat healthy, exercise, get enough sleep, and follow a routine as best you can. And you may also want to consider therapy or counseling.